Ichiro Suzuki and Hideki Matsui are two of the most accomplished Japanese hitters in Major League history, as both men became pioneers for MPB players, crossing over to MLB in the early 2000s. Now, other than the obvious fact that these are both left-handed hitting, right-handed throwing outfielders, these are two incredibly different batter archetypes, at least during their Major League years, Ichiro being a speedy leadoff slap hitter and Matsui being a middle-of-the-order slugger. However, the two are far more similar than one would initially expect during their years in Japan, so let's examine the MPB careers of Ichiro and Matsui to determine who was better. So both Ichiro and Matsui made a name for themselves in high school as Ichiro grew up in a town just outside of Nagoya and attended a high school in Aichi, where he was primarily a pitcher, although his hitting talents were well known too. Meanwhile, Matsui grew up in Ishikawa and generated nationwide headlines as a big power hitting prospect for Serio High School in Kanagawa, even being intentionally walked five consecutive times in a Koshien tournament game. Despite Ichiro's superb high school numbers, MPB teams were reluctant to draft him because of his small frame, standing in at just 5'9", 125 pounds. So despite his hopes to join his hometown Chunichi Dragons, he fell all the way to the Orcs Buffaloes in the fourth round of the 1991 draft. The following year, Matsui was one of the centerpieces of the 1992 draft class. He narrowed down his desired teams to just the Giants, Tigers, Dragons, and Hawks, threatening to go to college if any other team selected him and he ended up going in the first round to the Yomiuri Giants. Ichiro spent most of 1992 and 1993 on the farm team as he struggled in his short stint at the MPB level, although he did hit his first career home run off Hideo Nomo in 1993. But he finally caught a break when Akira Ogi became the Blue Waves manager in 1994, as he gave Ichiro an opportunity to be an everyday player on the first team, and he delivered, posting a 994 OPS and 8.4 war in his first season. Matsui, on the other hand, was able to make an impact from year one, hitting 11 home runs in 57 games in 1993, then 20 home runs with 4.2 war in 1994, as both Matsui and Ichiro made their first All-Star selections in 94. Neither of them looked back after that, as they both went on to win three MVP awards. Matsui's MVP campaigns were spread out between 1996, 2000, and 2002, while Ichiro won his all in succession from 1994 to 1996. Beginning with Ichiro, his first MVP award came in the aforementioned 1994 campaign, where he not only slashed 385, 445, 549 with 8.4 war, but he also set the single season MPB record for hits at the time with 210 absolutely insane for a 20 year old. He followed this up in 95 with even better production, posting 10.4 war with a career high 25 home runs in a 342, 432, 544 line as well as 49 steals. Then in 96 he had yet another phenomenal season hitting 365, 422, 504 with 16 homers, 35 stolen bases, and 7.9 war, helping lead the Blue Wave to a Japan Series title. Although Ichiro was mostly playing center up until this point with really good defense, he ended up sliding over to right field in 1997 as Yoshitomo Tani joined the team. Now Ichiro's offensive production didn't regress whatsoever, but he didn't win another MVP award in Japan simply because his Blue Wave weren't as good anymore. Ichiro left to join the Seattle Mariners following the 2000 season, accumulating 1,278 hits, 118 home runs, 199 stolen bases, and 49.3 war in just 7.5 MPB seasons. But let's take a look at what Matsui was doing before diving any deeper. Matsui's first MVP campaign came in 96, the first and only time he and Ichiro won it in the same season, as he clobbered 38 home runs with a 1023 OPS and 6.7 war. In almost a completely opposite move from Ichiro, Matsui ended up sliding over to center field from right, even though his defense wasn't especially good. He won his next MVP award in 2000 as he smashed 42 homers with a 1092 OPS and 7.0 war, helping lead the Giants to a Japan Series title. Then in his last year in Japan, Matsui set career highs in pretty much every category across the board with 50 home runs, a 692 slugging percentage, an 1153 OPS, 358 isolated power, and 10.7 war. Matsui left MPB with 
1,390 hits, 332 home runs, and 66.3 war across nine and a half seasons. Now again, just like Ichiro, Matsuya was really good in his non-MVP winning seasons too, but the award was almost exclusively handed out to a pennant winner, so one could make the case that there should be at least 10 MVP awards between Ichiro and Matsui, not just 6, had their teams been even more successful. But anyway, let's get to the in-depth analysis. Suzuki or Matsui? Who's better? Let's begin with the basic slash line. Batting average, on base, and slugging. Ichiro's career line in Japan was 353, 421, 522. That's a 943 OPS. Matsui's career line was 304, 413, 582. That's a 996 OPS. So Ichiro has Matsui beat significantly in batting average, which is to be expected, and ever so slightly in OBP, but Matsui has Ichiro beat by quite a large margin in slugging percentage, and therefore leads in OPS as well. Alright, enough with the basics, time for the Sabre metrics. OPS plus, weighted runs created plus, weighted on base average, and wins above replacement. So it's really tight, but Matsui has Ichiro beat in both OPS plus and WRC plus at 163 versus 158. The same goes for Woba, 432 for Matsui, 415 for Ichiro. Now keep in mind Ichiro struggled out of the gates as an 18 and 19 year old, so if you take those seasons out, they're virtually tied. But since Matsui also debuted at a high school, it wouldn't be fair to just remove those years from Ichiro's resume. And finally, Matsui obviously has more war because he played more games. So let's take a look at pace of war instead. In other words, how many games played to accumulate one war for each player? Well, it's extremely close. Again, 19.13 for Matsui, 19.29 for Ichiro. So Matsui gets the slight edge again, but they're effectively identical. Okay, now how about the rate stats? Walk percentage, strikeout percentage, walk to strikeout ratio, and home run percentage. Matsui walked far more often at 15.3% versus 9.4%, which is not surprising considering the sort of free-swinging spirit of Ichiro, but then here's where Ichiro really shines. Matsui's K rate is more than doubled Ichiro's at 8.1% versus 17%. And although Matsui sports a very good BBK ratio at 0.90, it's awfully tough to beat Ichiro at 1.15. So Matsui may walk more, but Ichiro makes up for it by putting the ball in play. And lastly, Matsui doubles up on Ichiro in home run percentage at 6% versus 2.9%, but of course, that's to be expected given the profiles. Alright, so how about the other aspects of the game, base running and defense? Well, keep in mind these are retroactive metrics since there was nothing like StatCast back then, but the base running runs and defensive run statistics still paint a pretty clear picture. 16.7 base running runs and just 1.6 defensive runs for Matsui, 49.9 base running runs and 11.8 defensive runs for Ichiro. Again, not surprising at all. Ichiro stole 49 bases one year while Matsui topped out at 9, and Matsui definitely played much better defense in Japan than he ever did in the majors when he became known as a bit of a tank out in the corners, but his defense just doesn't stand a chance against Ichiro. Even the most basic defensive stats prove that, with Ichiro only committing an error every 52 games versus every 34 games for Matsui, and Ichiro getting an assist every 14 games versus every 18.5 games for Matsui. There's no doubt about it, Ichiro is just way better defensively at any spot in the outfield. So one last category to look over, awards and titles. We've already established that both players won three MVP awards, so they're tied in that aspect. Matsui was selected to nine All-Star games while Ichiro was selected to eight, and Matsui was selected to eight end of the year best nine teams while Ichiro was selected to seven, but Matsui stayed in the league longer, so those do equal out. Meanwhile, as previously established, Ichiro's defense ranks supreme, and the Gold Gloves back him up, with 7 up against Matsui's 3. Now how about the titles? Well, Ichiro won 7 batting titles in a row, while Matsui only won 1. But Ichiro never won the home run crown, while Matsui won 3. And the same goes for RBI titles, although Ichiro managing to win even 1 out of the leadoff spot is pretty impressive too. And yes, Ichiro did move down to the middle of the order from 1996, but he led the Pacific League in ribbies in 1995, hitting leadoff most of the time. Now, OBP titles are an interesting one because Matsui did draw a lot of walks, so he won three of them, but Ichiro got five pretty much purely off his hits. 
Matsui also won three Japan Series titles, including a Series MVP, while Ichiro's Blue Wave won just one. But we all know baseball isn't an individual sport, so that means nothing. And finally, Matsui led the league in slugging percentage three times, while Ichiro also led the league in hits five times and in steals once. So there it is. Add them all up and that's 17 pieces of silverware. That's MVPs, gold gloves, and best nines for Ichiro, and 14 for Matsui. And that's 19 times Ichiro led the league in a major category, and 13 for Matsui. There was no regular season interleague play back then, so the only time we got to see Ichiro and Matsui compete against each other was in the 1996 Japan Series, which Oryx won 4 games to 1. And that's it. Comparison complete. After all that, is there any verdict on who is truly better? Tough to say, they're so similar and yet so different in so many ways, and at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter who's better. If you want a power hitting monster that the opposition is going to fear who can slug almost 700 and hit 50 home runs a year, then Matsui is your guy. But if you want a pesky speedy hitter who can hit almost 400 and steal 50 bags a year, then Ichiro is your guy. Overall, Matsui does have a higher offensive peak, simply by virtue of being a power bat, but Ichiro is faster and plays better defense, so that pretty much closes any edge Matsui has over Suzuki. Now this comparison isn't meant to take MLB into account, it's supposed to be strictly MPB, but we do have to address the elephant in the room, being that Ichiro went on to record 60 war in just MLB alone and became the world record holder in hits, while Matsui became Godzilla and had a very solid MLB career generating 21.2 war and becoming a World Series legend. But it's pretty obvious only one of these guys is making Cooperstown. But Matsui is already in the Japanese Baseball Hall of Fame, and Ichiro will join him soon. So again, this isn't meant to purely be a contest about who is better on the field. They've obviously both established legacies that go well beyond their playing days, and as this video hopefully proved, both of them were incredible players that excelled in many facets of the game. If you like this video, check out my Yu Darvish vs Masahiro Tanaka MPB comparison in the description below, and comment below if there's two other players you'd like to see compared. Thanks for watching, please subscribe for more MPB content in English.